everybody. Welcome back to Three Cookie Nerds. I'm your host, Curtis. With me, as always, is Eaton Toast Ethan and the amazing Lee. How's What's it up? Going? Hello. Uh, All is good. What are we making today? I'm very today? short today. You are very right. short today. It's okay. You know what? You got taken down a peg. It's all good. Gotcha. So, today we are making cinnamon, banana, walnut bread. This is something that I have made with my dad a lot. And usually oh. we just go with like the box recipe, which has, you know, all the flour and cinnamon and sugar already combined into one package. You dump it in a mixing bowl with your eggs and butter and wet stuff and all that. And then you throw it in the oven and you're done. I want to break it down into its, you know, how it's actually supposed to be and kind of show the old man how it's done. You know what I mean? Oh, damn. Yeah, so I'm coming at you, Dad. So that's what we're making today. Okay. So have you guys had anything like this before? Uh, I can't bake to save my life, so no. I, yes. Um, I have made banana bread before, or like, I've had it, but yeah, I've never done walnut, though. That'll be okay. interesting. Yeah, so walnuts are optional. If you like them or not, but uh, we can start out the process by preheating our oven. I've never used this oven before, so that'll be fun. So let's give that. Mm-hmm. A, let's do that now. Blows up right away. Listen, don't don't jinx this, okay? I have to learn. And I didn't have an electric mixer, but I did find this manual one that seems like it was from like the 1800s or something. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, see, it's just like. It's got this little handle. I feel like I could like meld this into my arm and just if I ever lose that, that's your, uh, It's your cyberpunk accessories. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for this recipe, you'll be needing three fourths a cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, two eggs, three medium ripe bananas, and we're going to smash those. Uh, a tablespoon of tablespoon of uh, mm-hmm. pure <laughs> or imitation vanilla extract, uh, one, one-half cups all-purpose white flour, uh, a cup of chopped walnuts, if you like, enough or not, uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, or however you like your or cinnamon. All right. Well, let's so, get okay. Yeah. I got my three quarters a cup of sugar. Okay. So in your mixing bowl, we can combine our sugar, butter, and eggs. So pretty basic start to any baking stuff. So let's get our sugar going. And that's three fourths of a cup. This is where my math or lack of math skills come to play. It's a good thing to label on the measuring cup. Yeah. This is when we find out that no one can open an egg. I'm basically having to use a. Oh, we found out that last time. What? Can't crack an egg. Oh, that nobody knows how to crack an egg open? With full, I, I know how to do it, but like people can do it with one hand, and that's fascinating. Okay, I gotta try to do it with one hand. That's because they're a bunch of they're a bunch of crazy people. That's why. I did it. Desk. It was not the cleanest break, but I did it. I 
There we go. I told it there. I told everyone to wash their hands, and they were not happy. They were not happy. I tried to right. break an egg with one hand. I think you know, I, I. It disconnected. It destroyed his computer. computer. Yeah. You, you destroyed the internet. You actually destroyed the internet by trying to do it. Yeah. hundred percent. Well, you, you you missed out, Kurt. Uh, we were debating whether or not they have sticks of butter in Canada. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. We I we figured it would be in a bag. Yeah. So much bag over there. What? And we, well, we know because we're the experts. <laughs> See, here's yeah. my here's my Canadian butter right here. See, it's very much a stick. Why is it in a bag? <laughs> your, your American education system is failing you, Lee. This... Like we had an education to begin with. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah we, that, that's cute you think that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm adding... So I'm doing something a little weird. I because... Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to start adding my eggs. What are you doing? Oh, oh I'm just cutting up the butter. To make it easier to mix. Oh, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Because my yeah. butter is not soft. No, mine's not soft either. I could probably okay. toss it in the mic. Probably should. I didn't probably think about should have done that. that, but that's okay. Well, I can so still sugar, butter, butter, and then our two eggs. And sugar eggs. All right. Oh, I didn't do that. So I'm going to try not to get the shells in there. Keyword is try. I'm going to chop my butter by cutting it in the bowl, stabbing towards me. So. All so right, so we got. So, as so everyone knows, we are just putting butter, eggs, and sugar in the bath, but bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know you think all Canadians have things in bags, Lee, but it's not quite the case, okay? Right. Sometimes you guys use sacks. I do like how there was like uh, Trump got into power and then there's like some Canadian businessmen that tried to do the same thing and he got shot down so quickly. They're like, you don't know anything about politics. Why would we vote you in? Oh, man. It's funny because by the time this episode comes out, no one's going to care who Trump is. Yeah, Trump who? I don't know if you guys are freaks like me, but whenever I have the empty shells and like my little paper towel, I like to crush them with my hand. Interesting. That's really weird. So like, it's like I'm holding the skull of my enemy. So like, I just got it in my hands and I, let me get it into the mic. Just, ah. Uh, oh, Jesus. That's disturbing. I love how he said that. I was like, is, is this just, just a me thing? And it's like, yeah, that's an entirely just a you thing. <laughs> it's a me thing. I'll worry about that. So, now that we've got, so adding, what's up? We're not adding anything else to this, right? No, now we're just going to kind of beat that together until it gets creamy. All right, so we're going to beat it. Don't don't take that out of context. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to use my electric modern technology. Shit. Shit. Okay. I haven't melted my butter yet. I'm a little bit behind. That's okay. Oh, well, we were supposed to melt the butter? Or I guess, like, I don't uh, know, maybe, maybe I might. Oh, we'll see. How much butter do I need? Half a cup? Yeah, uh, which is about a full stick. Oh, okay. Alright, so I've actually never used this before. Okay, I'm getting uh, this, is fun. Fun. So this is great. You've never used your electric yeah. mixer before? Do you think I cook? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. How do you eat then, Lee? What is your, like, standard, like, what do you do normally? Uh, I mean, I just starve usually. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just imagining you being like, "Well, we did Domino's last night and Taco Bell the night before, so gotta change it up." Yeah. Yeah. Last, last night, had uh, the white American uh, yeah. Five Guys and Domino's. Five Guys is pretty good. There you go. Yeah, but I woke up this morning feeling like two of the guys. Oh, yeah. When you get something at Five Guys, that's a commitment. Yeah. So, okay. so I have to stop this for just one second, because I, I need you guys' opinion. I, I've heard the argument before, Five Guys or In-N-Out. So what is your guys' take on it? 
Or what? Uh, the, they're both garbage. So, I said, uh, <laughs> I said five guys or in and out. Um, I've only had in and out the one time, but I thought it was pretty good. But I feel like five guys yeah. is gonna be more consistent. You think I'm more consistent? I think yeah. I think like when you get in and out multiple times, it might wear off, but five guys will last a little longer. Interesting. My opinion is, is like to get the good stuff at In and Out, you have to know their secret menu, and not everyone does. But like gotcha. Five Guys, you can just go into Five Guys, get a good burger. You don't have to know the ins and outs. <laughs> Funny little guy. Yeah. Uh, I just want to be overpriced for what they are. I like Shake uh, Shack. I, I prefer Shake Shack actually. Really? Shake Shack's legit when it comes to burgers. Okay, so how are your mixtures looking? Uh, I still have a chunk of butter, but other than that, okay. Okay, I think mine's reduced pretty significantly. I'm, I'm liking it. So I'm, mix what? so I'm mixing together the butter, the egg, the, the and sugar, and the banana. Okay. Yeah. That's the consistency I'm locking with right now. Hold on one sec. I, right. I have to so see. So this is what I got? Okay, yeah. Looking pretty good. I'm already getting sticky. Okay. 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 Alright, so. When you get to like a pretty creamy consistency, then we can start looking at our banana and our uh, vanilla extracts. This okay. is what I got working for me right now. Let's oh. Check it out. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I see it's slow. Yeah. It's creamy. So we want three bananas, right? Yes. We're going to put those in our mix and we're going to mash those up. Okay. So, sorry, what are we putting in next? We're going bananas and vanilla. Oh, I already did the bananas. B A Oops. B A N A N A S. Okay, he already did the banana, so you're gonna use, I think, like a teaspoon or something of banana, of, of vanilla. Table spoon. Let's see, it's a one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Yeah, and here are three bananas. I've, I've, um, this, oh, go ahead. I've tried to bake in my life, and I suck at baking. And um, this will be interesting because I don't bake. Like, I've been in cases where I've, like, I turned to my partner at the time, and I'm like, okay, you can bake that, because I don't bake. Hmm? I can cook, like, no problem with that, but baking? No, I don't bake. Yeah. I was going to ask, do you think this shit is bananas? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Hey! You know, I feel like Donkey Kong's going to come in right now and try to take some of my banana bread. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty well looking bananas. So I'm just gonna like kind uh, <coughs> of. How do you mash a banana? You don't do it with your hands, right? That's a savage thing to do. I used a, yeah. a potato masher that I have. Okay. I'm gonna use my little blend, my mixer here, and I'm gonna mix them together. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna dice mine up and just put it in the bowl. Okay, we got the vanilla extract. Okay. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. If not, you probably did. <laughs> probably did something wrong. Should, you probably have the Rona. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, so we're gonna have some fun here. Oh, there we go. There's the Whoa. Whoa! Shit, where'd I put my mixing thing? Oh. Okay. Got you one ever, like, last. Do you ever like ask yourself like, oh, where'd I put this thing? It's literally right in front of you. Oh, all the time. Especially with my phone and glasses. I was like, where's my measuring cup? And it was literally right in front of me the entire time. Yeah. Okay. Alright. My bananas are in, and I add my vanilla. Alright, so this is a okay. tablespoon of vanilla. Egg. 
see, do I have that much? I don't think so, but okay. Anyway, I'm kind of excited. This is like pretty, pretty interesting looking. I have exactly a tablespoon of vanilla left, thank god. Came through in the clutch. Thank, got, thank you, Daniel. I'm looking forward to this because if I can pull this off and bake, then I can go around and tell people I actually don't suck at baking anymore. Well, maybe you can get laid off of this because apparently that's the only reason why you cook, I think. Yeah. Just to get laid? Um, this is what I'm, I'm working with. Oh, there you go. That looks like mine. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of like a soupy contexture, though. Yeah, that's yeah. What reminds that. That's what you need for batter. So I'm mashing up my nanas right now. Not my grandma. Oh. But... <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's the secret ingredient. Speaking of cooking to get laid. Uh, <laughs> this is... I thought you were going to show us something else by pointing the camera down. Hey, see, there's the banana mixture. Okay. Yeah, so it should be like kind of a little chunky because of the bananas and maybe some of the butter. But that's okay. It's all gonna, it's all gonna mix together perfectly. Yeah. Okay. I've got one rogue banana stuck in my whisk, so I gotta fix that. I hate when that happens. My rogue, my rogue banana. Okay. After that, then we can see what our next step is, which. Should be, ba 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 ba. Let's see. Banana beat until mix. Okay, so we're pretty much done with our base of our mixture. Uh -huh. Okay. So you can get your pan or whatever you're gonna cook it in, and you're gonna add butter, so like you know to grease the pan and all that, and sprinkle some sugar once you've buttered it on the pan. So that you kind of get like a little bit of like caramelized sugar like at the bottom, kind of like a crust. Okay. okay, that'll be interesting. Do you know what I mean? I think so. I'm a little surprised at these directions, but yes. Well, I, didn't put it, I didn't put it in, but I got, ah. some, I got some off camera support telling me that that's the way to go. Okay, well, we'll, we'll try it and if it doesn't work, I'll just blame you. All right, that's fine, you know. That's what this show is all about, right? Blaming others. Blame? Yeah, that's what the holidays are all about. Yeah. I'm just throwing things on the floor now. He's getting angry. That's, how, that's how angry I am. The angry nerd is coming out. Hey. Oh, no. Uh, we'll talk about... Gotta, gotta plug the, the normal channel. Yeah, I can't wait to talk about Monster Hunter. Oh, wait, you guys will... They'll be out on, like... By the time this comes out. I can't wait to see Kurt get angry about Monster Hunter. Well, I was going to say, by the time this comes out, Ed will have Kana gone, and no one will remember it. That's right. We won't have a, a Rathalos of a chance to make it a good movie. Yeah. Actually, by the time this comes out, Coming to America might be out. There you go. Well, come check out that review on the Green Leaders now. Okay, so you said we're doing a little tiny bit of butter on the bottom along with sugar, right? Yeah, so like butter to cover the, the you know the base of your 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 pan, and then just cover that with sugar so you can kind of get like a nice sugary like crust. Question: okay. Should I have added the flour to my batter by now, or is that like coming later? I feel like oh I'm, shit! Right. I think I might have missed that. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, I didn't. There's, there's, at all. I was gonna say there's still a lot of steps that I don't think we've gotten to yet. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, cool. Okay. So now we can probably mix in everything else that we haven't done so far. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't thickening. That's interesting. Yeah, so let's, okay, then. let's add in our, our one and one half cups of flour, one cup of walnuts, and half teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do that slowly. Yes. I'm slow. Yeah. You're good. Let's add our one and one half cup of flour. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the save, Kurt or anybody that mentioned that I didn't do everything yet. <laughs> I was like, 
Wait, are we just cooking these bananas in the pan? I'm so confused. Yeah, you're yeah. you're right. That's crazy talk. Okay. It's probably a little more flour than needed, but whatever. Okay, so you said a cup and a half of flour, and how much of the chopped walnuts? That should be one cup, I believe. One cup of walnuts. All right. Now, one somebody cup didn't of walnuts. put walnuts in. Would this be a travesty, or is this okay? No, this is okay. Walnuts are pretty optional, but if you like the crunch. Oh, I had. I might even put in a little bit more than a cup. I love crunch. Oh. I'm like trying to figure out a good camera angle so people can see me putting the nuts in their cup. We can get some, <laughs> some, AS, some ASMR on that. What, nuts in the cup? <laughs> nuts in the cup, ASMR. <laughs> That's a thing, right? I'm sure it is. Uh, there we go. That's a good, healthy amount of nuts. All right. And then, uh, how much cinnamon? That should be a tablespoon, I believe, or let's see, one. Oh, that's a teaspoon. One teaspoon. teaspoon. That's a, a slight difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm learning as we go. You know, this might be our most interesting episode because it's like it's a cup. Uh, actually, you mean like half a cup? <laughs> Welcome to the Three Cooking Nerds, where recipes don't matter. <laughs> and, uh, the food is made up. Oh, sure. Okay, one teaspoon of cinnamon. It looks like, uh, what else we got here? Okay. Half so a teaspoon of baking soda and salt. Okay. Adding my cup of walnut. I got my baking soda added. Okay. No, walnuts are good snacks on their own. True. They really are. Probably not the best for you, like calorie wise, but still good. Yeah. I, yeah, okay. I was wondering, like, should I chop these nuts even more? But it's probably fine. Like, mine are pretty chopped, but... <coughs> yeah. Oh, God, I got the corona. I, oh, no. Okay, so I've got my cup, and, my cup of nuts here. That's what she said. Tossing those in. And then uh, I'm going to throw in my teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of baking soda. Now, question the salt. Do you put like walnuts on top of this after you've like put it in the pan? Uh, no, usually I'll do like a glaze with my dad, like a vanilla glaze or something like that. But we're just, we're keeping it easy today. Okay. So the answer is yes, Kurt. You could if you want. Okay. So, what we're doing my half teaspoon of salt. Yeah. I'm okay, I'm gonna mix these up with the blender. Okay, half teaspoon of salt is in. Uh, so I just need a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Is that supposed to be smoking? Oh, okay. okay, be careful. Yeah, we don't need a fatality on the show. It would be me that would like, somehow catch this on fire. Like, what do you guys recall from this event? I don't know, Lee was like mixing something and then next thing you know, there was an explosion. Okay. Got my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinnamon is in. Now I just need I need you to shut up, first of all. Whoa. It's gonna oh, look feisty. Feisty over okay. <laughs> Damn. My half teaspoon of baking soda, and then that's it. And then that's it, for sure. So if I wanted to do this vanilla glaze, what would I do? Um, You could probably just do, like, a simple, like, egg and sugar mix, I think. Okay. I'm like, what is one of those things that will come with the box, like, you know, the little packet of syrup? Oh, okay. So. Google to the rescue. There you go. But now I'm just adding my baking soda, which is the half 
teaspoon. Yeah. Half teaspoon of baking soda, and then that's that's all of our ingredients. Yeah, I got everything mixed, so. Mm -hmm. Same here. I'm definitely going to have a cleanup job today. I'm going to let that drip for a few minutes. Yeah, so it, it really is like a good thick batter that I noticed. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so I'm going to mix my stuff and then I'm going to do that butter sugar thing with my pan. Okay. All right. All right. I may have already done so. the butter sugar thing, so. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. okay. Now we're getting something. Now we're picking this up. Yep. I really need to organize my drawers better. I am like that. The takeaway from this show. I need to organize my drawers. Yep. Introspection time. Yeah. This whole episode is just me trying to make my daddy proud of me. <laughs> I have some bad news. No. <laughs> if you look outside the door, he's leaving. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he went to go get smokes. That was ten years ago. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm oh, just going to my good. weekly poker game. Never comes your battery should be pretty thick by now, and everything should be pretty well mixed together. So, so it needs to be thick. I mean. You know, as long as it's in the mix, like, if everything's okay. I don't know. So I've never done you like this. Yeah, let, why don't you show me what you guys got, like, so far for batter? Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, this is what I am I'm rocking with, if they... So what I got right now? If I don't want to pour any it's, out. It's, like, a pretty thick consistency. Yeah, mine's pretty yeah, thick. Me too, don't worry. Mine's very nutty, too. I put in probably a little more walnuts than I should have, but whatever. Okay. It's, it's, so, it's nice and thick. Uh, yeah. Now, now I'm going to butter my pan so that you know all the sugar will stick on there and make a nice crust at the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let me clean up the flour that I like dump on, my stove, on the stove by accident. Yeah, so with the, this butter-sugar mix, so I guess uh, you're using granulated sugar, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like regular sugar? I mean, okay. I wonder what would happen if you used brown sugar. If that would work out a little bit better. Mm. I wouldn't hold it against you. Trust me. Well, I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again, but maybe next time I'll try. Yeah, and buttering your pan is just a necessary thing to do in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, because God knows we've all made that mistake before. I'm, I'm perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, alright. I'm sure you've said it about kitchen fires before. No, I don't think I have. Never? No. Wow. Watch, this will be my first. Wow. Look, look at you, Mr. Not kitchen Fire Guy. <laughs> yeah. Watch, this will be my first. Yeah. Okay, so are we ready to put this in the pan? Yeah, my stuff is buttered. You, you buttered your biscuits and we're ready to go? Okay, I may need a second. So let's see how I do with the first one. The first what now? Okay, so we're putting this in the pan. Uh, is there like a certain height we should do this to or no? Yeah, about halfway, so it has enough space to rise. So if you need a second pan, that will be okay. 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 I think we're okay. I got a pretty big, like, bread pan thing, so I think I'll okay. be okay. All right, well, if you need a second pan, it's okay. We all make a mistake, except Kurt, apparently. Uh, I'm pushing every way. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh? At least it's what my dad said before he left. All right, so I'm kind of like pushing my sugar in my pan so that I'm covering it. And then I got it that covered, so I'm going to pour in my, my batter. Yeah, I realized I probably should have put some of that buttered glaze on the sides. Oh, well. Oh, right, oh, I'm, like a, I'm not a fool. 
Yeah, I spooned mine in. This is what we're rocking with right now. It's definitely more than half, but we'll just pray to the gods. So the way I look at it is that if it comes out good, then awesome. But if it comes out bad, then I'm going to take it to work. But the people that anger me can, can eat its, its nastiness. Oh, yeah. shit. Wow. It's, like, it's like, hey, Donald, here's your uh, banana bread for Christmas. And then he just eats it. It's like, wow, it tastes like shit. It's like, wow, that's really insensitive, Donald. How dare you? I love it. <laughs> How dare you? There's there's pieces of my uh, was it of, of my gram in there. <laughs> my gram. That's not chocolate in there. That's actually my dog's shit. So, sorry. <laughs> okay, I just tasted the batter. Pretty good. I think it should okay. taste now. You know, I think I'm gonna put some of the, the nuts on top. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that too. Why not? Live, live in La Vida Loco. Yeah. I also made a bit of a glaze, which was just um, butter, some egg, some sugar, some vanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my pan filled uh, halfway, and I'm getting some off-camera help with doing my second pan. Oh, wow, you made a lot. Yeah, I suppose. I just want everyone to be happy, you know? Yeah, makes sense. He is a people pleaser. Oh my gosh. I am. Lee, are you going as crazy on the walnuts on top as I am? Because I definitely am. Probably. I, I'm going to stop now. Because that's a lot of walnuts. I definitely have enough walnuts in there. This is pretty much walnut bread at this point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this so is what I'm, I'm working with. with. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. I Actually, I'm so glad I bought this thing like a while back. A little bread. Like rubber thingy. Ooh. Nice. Okay. This is, this is mine. Oh. Oh, look at that. Right. Well, I, want get, I want to get the top, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's there good. we go. Ha ha. Go. Wow, that's very nutty. Yeah, I, I went a little ham on the nuts, but that's okay. Live on La Vida Loca. Ooh. I'm pouring my second serving into my pan, and then it will be ready to to, to bake. Okay. And this was actually relatively easy. Like you could just easily like hash this out in an afternoon or morning, and like. Oh yeah. Yeah, I hope this will inspire you to, to bake more and maybe do this do this recipe some more. Mm -hmm. Next up, if I will try to make good. chocolate chip cookies. If it turns out well. <laughs> Step one with the chocolate chip cookies. Take them out of the package. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if I have enough to fill this entire pan. Jesus. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take some out. And, okay. I'll just, just form it all in. My other pan. This is not a mess of the recipe, but, you know, you work with what you got. The yeah. only thing I'm worried about is that I think my... You said it was supposed to go halfway. My thing is like pretty much at the top. So. Oh my gosh. It's probably going to spill out. Yeah. We might get some sugar flow, so keep an eye on it. But I think it should be okay in the end. I'm just going to put it on a baking sheet. That way, if it does spill out, it'll just go into the baking sheet. Mm. I recommend, I recommend, my off camera help recommends putting it on top of a tray. Yeah, that's what so I that, did. Yeah, that's what I did. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, see, I got it on a tray just in case. Just in case. Yeah. Is it okay to try a batter? Uh, okay. uh, sure. The ladle it's... was forcibly taken from my hands, so I guess no, it's not. Well, it's got well, raw egg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, a little raw egg never hurt anybody. I mean, Rocky that's ate a, that's a, a raw Rocky egg. Drinks. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Okay. Yes, if Rocky well, can do it, then you can do it. But we're not liable <laughs> for anything that happens to Ethan here. But exactly. Or anybody that decides to take our advice. Yeah. All right. So we've got our mixture in our pans. I think we can go ahead and put it in the oven now. Okay. Ooh, okay. Which All rack right, in the oven am I putting this on? Uh, middle should be fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did we tell people to make sure that it's at three fifty, right? Yeah, three fifty. 
Okay. I like how this as long as people know this. This is definitely our most haphazard episode, and I'm here for it. So this is gonna bake for sixty to seventy minutes, and after that, stick a toothpick in and see if it comes out clean. Okay. We'll let it. We gotta let it rest for like ten minutes afterwards, which is something I'm terrible at. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to not burn myself while doing this. Good. I All right. It is in. It is in. That's what she said. There we go. All right, good to go. So okay, one hour, wait. hour, hour and ten. Hour and ten. I'm gonna set my time. Where's my my timer? So if you want, you can check it while it's baking. But in an hour, it should be ready to go. Hour and ten minutes. Okay. All right. So okay. until then, it's counting down. Until then. All right. Let's go. Uh, until then. All right. That looks like a loaf. <laughs> and we're back with our loaves, our bread. Um, yeah, I uh, I think this turned out pretty well. I did that vanilla glaze over top, so I mixed like some eggs, some sugar, um, some vanilla, some salt. I put that on top. It's Look really like that. It's really glossy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine into like a plate so that it looks nicer for a presentation. And I wanna see how like the cut on the bottom came out. I wonder if like do you think it's good enough to it's good to kind of slice out at this point? Probably. Oh uh, yeah, it's not gonna like fall apart or anything, I think. It should be okay. Okay. Yeah. So I got my, my hand dandy bread knife here, so we're gonna Yeah. Do it a little, little tiny bit here. Okay, the last time I, the last time I tried to do this, I burned myself. So oh, let's try to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Careful, you won't do that this time. No. Okay, so I, well, like, we're the we're the three cooking nerds, not the three burning nerds. I already have a burning man from taking chili out of the oven, so. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna like do a flip. And then, okay. Oh my gosh, look at Okay, that sounds like there's good stuff happening. Oh yeah. That looks, it looks very spongy, very, uh, like moist. Okay, it's not, it's not leaving the container. Fully upside down, and it's not coming out. So what's going on here? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, moment, moment of truth. Oh, oh, you fell out. All right. There we go. It, a kind of, kind of a chunk sort of came out. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, see, this is what I got. It's very, um, it's very dense. Okay. It probably would have helped to leave it cooling a little longer, but honestly, it couldn't be bothered. Mm. We've got shows to make. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let me get a fork or a spoon, and then I can ask you guys for your thoughts. Mm. It came out very moist. Yeah. You definitely taste the cinnamon, though. Yeah. Honestly, I, I probably would have added more. Yeah, yeah I, I, know. I think I would, too. Like, it's there, but it's not, like, quite... An I would have done a little bit more cinnamon. Gotcha. But, but it's not to say it's bad. It's actually very good. No. It's crazy. I've never made this before, like, legit. No. Or even, like, with the um, sugar you put on the bottom and the sides, if you mixed it with some cinnamon, maybe, like, a cinnamon sugar, that would be pretty good. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm happy. I, I think I did my pappy proud. He, he's not going to disown you today. Finally. Mm -hmm. Come back from the, from the cigarette store. <laughs> I guess I'll come back. My son succeeded yeah. in making banana bread. Okay. This is really Thumbs good. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really good. 
awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you, viewers yeah. slash, slash listeners. Check out three. If you, uh, oh. if you made this recipe at home, like share it. Let us know how it turned out. Yeah, send it pictures. Yeah. Did you get laid from this? Let us know. <laughs> send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, send pictures. Uh, Threeingernerds.com mm-hmm. is where we're at most times. Check us out there. Well, if you're here, you should know that. But Yeah, you would yeah. assume as much. Like, you don't subscribe to a Patreon unless you like usually are a frequenter, but, you, you know, just mention it. You never know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to say, if, if anyone's got recipes they want us to try, send, send them our way. For the season two. Yeah. Arsenic, yeah. arsenic cookies. Yeah, try that. <laughs> No, we're going to put antifreeze on Looks like Ted <laughs> is in, 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 uh, sends in a recipe here. Yeah. All right. Until next Hold time. On. All right. Time for the get fast. <laughs> oh, check out threegrinders.com. <laughs> You're not already, I'm sure. <laughs>